Hey, it's Tandy from Elizabeth Homeland. I just updated band selection to 1.4. It's a max for life device that you can use to bounce down audio, MIDI or group tracks from your time selection into a new clip. Since the first release, I tried to add every feature you've been asking for, so band selection now works in both Live 10, Live 11 and 12. And you have a few options to choose from how the device should create the new clip. First you have options to choose between pre-effects, post-effects and post-mixer bouncing. Pre-effects means that it will create the new clip before every effect on the track, but if it's an instrument track, it will create the new clip after the instrument. Post-effect will create the clip after the effects, but before the track controls. And post mixer will include every track control, like volume and panning. By default the device uses the faster offline rendering, but you can now use it in real-time mode to render down tracks where you used external effects or instruments. And the last feature is that you can select an effect track preset you created that bounce selection will load into the new track once it's finished the bouncing.